video, we're going to be looking at attacking the Throne Room Armory bombsite of Theme Park. And before I get into the specific strat that I'm going to suggest, I just want to take a little bit of time exploring this site and talking about what the options are for attacking it generally. And before I've started the video, I've opened up all the perimeter walls and tried <laughs> as best I could to open up some of the roof. That's sort of a, a tough roof to open. Uh, holes tend to be very small. But I've tried to open it up, and I just want to go around here and talk about really what the options are for attackers to push into this site. First of all, what I often see uh, in ranked games are attacks from either this wall here coming from maintenance, or a breach it, come in here and plant behind the throne, or very similar, just kind of the mirror image of that coming through in here into barrels and trying to plant on the other side. Or sometimes trying to get pinch pressure from both sides, maybe with a bond on one side and a thermite on the other, or a thermite who tries to run around and get both sides. Though it can be tricky to get both sides open because often you've got uh, some kind of bandit wire or electro claw or mute jammer or something on both of them. I've also seen them near a position here pretty effectively too. So when you push in through these ways, as people often do, the defense wins more often than not. And so why is that? Well, I think it's because when you're in this room here in barrels and very similarly other sides in maintenance, these are basically kill boxes. Um, the roof is soft above. This hatch here is a huge problem for you in barrels if you push in this way. It can shoot you before you even get, even as you're getting through the window. Someone coming back from behind here, they could be camping out here at the start of the round. They could be anywhere upstairs, and when they come down those arcade stairs, they see you right away. You've got an angle from these stairs, so you can sort of a subtle peek right into that wall. And of course, someone could come from drugs, and then peek here. So as you're trying to push up this way, you've constantly got to be looking behind you and above you too. Very, very similar issue when you're pushing through maintenance here. Because you've got to worry about flanks that can come from this way. Um, and one flank that I like to do playing defense on this site myself is, if I, you know, as soon as I hear a thermite charge getting put down, just come around the corner, free fire, and there's sometimes two, three people just lined up here waiting to get killed. Then, when you get in the room, the defenders have tons and tons of cover to hide behind and to pee from. You know, could they be hiding behind the, the wall of the throne here? Could be or over here if you're coming through from barrel, hiding behind the bomb chassis, behind this green box, hanging out from blue, hanging out from here, there, there, you get the idea. There's a ton, ton of places to peek out from. And so when you walk in here, there's no real, oh, you know, just pre-fire that corner in that corner or throw a flashbang over there or something and I'm, I'm golden. No, you've got tons and tons of real estate to worry about and it's you know, too much to even try to smoke off. So the site that this is building up to, I'm going to suggest you try to attack through is actually the north wall, but the, kind of the forgotten wall of the site in my experience. Open up the wall on the left side and plant here. And what that's going to do is a couple of things. First of all, with any luck, they're expecting you to push on the other side, and they would be quite set up for the push over here. Maybe they don't even put bandit wires down over here. When I'm a bandit and I've got four charges, I often put them on the other two walls. When you walk in here as an attacker, you've got way less angles to worry about. There is some area here that someone could be trying to hide in that corner, or they can come out the left or right side of the pillar here, or in the blue corridor there, or potentially hiding over here, but especially if you open up the breach on the left side, you're totally cut off from the throne room. And as you see, I've open, made some holes in the roof here. You can do a lot of work clearing people out of this room from hiding spots like this one. This is not a viable hiding spot at all, if, once you open up the level a little bit. Similarly this, not a viable hiding spot at all once you open up from above. This spot, you'll see it. This is actually not a breakable floor right here, so it's a little bit trickier to get to, but not, not impossible by any means. There's a floor right up to there, and there's an angle from there to there that you can get. So you can clear out this room pretty effectively from above. And there's a hatch here. It could be reinforced. It's maybe 50-50 in my experience whether or not it is. But uh, we'll have a hard room to open this up to as part of our strat. And then with this open from above, you totally chuck off blue. So with the hatch open there, you totally chuck off blue. With the hole open here, you choke off this door, and then with the holes open, you know, here, and here, and potentially here, staring into there a little bit, and you choke out anyone inside the room. And then the strat's going to be that this is maybe a gridlock, chucks down stingers here and in blue, 
and then maybe throw some smokes, um, and then you just walk up the plant. So, that's the big idea. Well, actually, before I cut out of this, let me show you what this looks like from above. So this is a hole you're going to want to make. This is looking into the throne room doorway. This is the cutoff. If anyone's in throne rooms, you're going to want a nice little hole here to be able to cut them down as they're trying to rotate into the site where you're opening up the planning. That's one really important hole to have. If you think maybe there's people in the room that you've got to clear out, this is the boundary of armory here along this strip here. But this room opens up wider, but it's hard. Not uh, the room anymore. The strip, you can see it lines up there. This is the room. So we can get people who may be hiding inside the room through these holes along the near left and right walls. And then once we're in the room and we're just trying to cut off the flanks, the two holes we want to watch are this one, the end of the throne room, and then this, this is the blue hallway. So with that, let's start looking at this in a map view, and then we'll look at the strategy and, and the specific position of all the attackers. Okay, now we have the blueprint of the map out. We're looking at it top down. Uh, we've got armory there A and throne room there B. Uh, so ultimately what we want to do is, as we talked about, we want to open up this wall here and get into sight and plant um, on this spot, on the eight, right on the eighth point there. And in order to do that, we're going to want to get attackers in positions The Thatcher is going to be in position here. Nomad in position over here. And Thermite will be the one who opens the wall. Now the other two attackers are going to be upstairs. That's why I haven't put them on this map. But the basic setup, the ultimate position you're going to want to be in is with Thatcher sitting here holding a long angle. What you may want to do to control this area effectively is to uh, put a breaching charge on this wall here, and then you can rotate more easily between this area. This is uh, Teller, so they call this. this is a new room at the theme park. This way you can then rotate between these sites uh, and get angles a little more. Because otherwise what you need to worry about is someone coming up maintenance here um, and maybe shooting you through this wall. The air jabs will want to have position. I'll show you this in the game too one around here for someone who rotates up to the thatcher another one here for someone who tries to rotate behind the nomad and then another one down the hallway here in case the nomad needs to push up or, or dice or anything like that you get a bit of warning there's a good spot here on the on the lights to put them so that if someone will not be able to shoot it while they're sitting over here but then if they run up they'll get hit by it and this gives you control uh, with the Nomad here too, uh, down into this hallway into the blue door. So you've got really good map control just with two people. And the only angle you have to worry about is the stairs here. These are the yellow stairs. So let's go upstairs and talk about how we're going to get control of those yellow stairs. The key to this is going to be, uh, in this sort of final phase, just before you open up the wall, is going to be a Doka B sitting here in this room. It's called Break Room in the new map and holding an angle through this wall. She can open these up this wall with her DMR pretty easily, especially after the, the new update. Holding a very long angle. This is a super powerful angle. It cuts all the way across the map. And this will give you control of your backside on yellow stairs. And then, uh, of course, we want to exploit those vertical angles. That's where the gridlock comes into play, and she's going to be around here, around here, where those holes are. There we go. Soft holes. There we go. Okay. So this is the final setup that we want to be in when we are attacking the site. Now, in order to get into these positions and have control of this area, the, the way we're going to actually start this map and start this attack is that we are going to have Dokubi go to this spot straight off the bat. But the other four attackers, in order to make sure that this is going to be safe for this gridlock, they're going to need to do a job here to clear out this area at the start of the round. And this is, you know, this is not the bomb site. This is a floor above, so you wouldn't expect there to be a ton of roamers. If there are a ton of roamers, then maybe yeah, you, you just try to push straight in, all of you, right up to this wall and go for it. 
but you ideally uh, want to clear out this entire area and make this safe for the gridlock to be in and to be trying to hold these vertical angles. So you know, use all four attackers to do that if you need to. Three, maybe four, depending on what you see at the start of the round and how many uh, attackers you think you'll need to clear it out effectively. Um, but you know, enter through this is uh, showers over here. Enter through that window. Enter through the east balcony door, east balcony window at the top of Dragon Stairs. This is, I think it's called radio room over here, maybe control room. Enter through that window. Whatever you need to do. Uh, there's also a hatch here, right on the spot in a radio room. Um, spread out, clear it out, get control of this area, and then once you've got control of this area with. And you can open up this wall here, and then you're at yellow stairs, and you can set up from there to get into position, like we just looked at here, with the the three attackers. If you drone it out, and you see that this area is actually pretty clear at the start of the round, look at your doki beam position. That'll seal off the right half of the map from the left half, and make that a safe spot for the gridlock to be. But you need to worry about. Um, someone coming up the dragon stairs as your only flank. That's the only way that someone who's not at the top floor can get up to you. Once you get in position downstairs, the Thatcher's going to cut that off because he's got the bottom of dragon stairs covered. One other thing to do when you're entering here with your three attackers, so the three attackers that are entering upstairs, or three or four, are going to be the gridlock for sure because she's going to attack from above, and the nomad and the thermite and maybe the Thatcher. Uh, the thermite should be up there at the start of the attack round and what he's going to do if he is up here um, and as you're clearing this area out is to open up the hatch over the blue corridor if it's reinforced if it's not reinforced then you can do that with gridlock it's no problem but use one of those breaching charges to open up this hatch because um, that's going to be a powerful hatch to cut off the blue corridor later in the round then that thermite is going to follow with the crew through this wall down and back into behind yellow or back on yellow stairs and uh, on the wall that he needs to breach to get into the bomb site. And as we talked about before, you should want to breach this on the little left side of the wall from your perspective, right looking top down here, the left side. And the reason for that is, is that it uh, prevents any line of sight here from throne room into where you're walking through and trying to get the plant down. With the gridlock above, do the typical thing here, throw down the stingers, sort of obvious spots to put them in blue and by the doorway to throne room. Throw smokes in the same spots too. And you're in good shape. Good luck. Have fun.